welcome to my new video now today we discuss how to solve the um, uh, transcendental equation with the help of newton less fraction method it is most widely used method need only one starting value if we have only one starting value between the roots first we find the value of equation if we consider uh, for one variable equation x is 0 and 1 at x equal to 0 value of equation given positive value at x is equal to 1 given negative value then the root lies between both 0 and 1 so we need only one we consider x 0 and then the formula is x1 equal to x0 minus fx0 upon f dash x0 dash means first order derivative hence see we use this equation if derivative of given function can be found can be easily found then real roots can be calculated faster so if the derivation is difficult then we don't go for this method we use some other method but if de derivation can found easily then we go for this method so general formula is x equal to n xn plus 1 equal to xn minus fxn upon f dash xn. Now we uh, I tell on the problem so you better understand how to solve use this method for solving the problems. We drill on the problem estimate the root of fx e to the power minus x minus of x correct up to four decimal place. Our fx is this if we derive it can be easily derivative derivative of e to the power minus x is minus e to the power x minus 1. Let us consider x 0 equal to uh, 0. So if we start with here then x 1 is equal to x 0 minus f x 0 upon f dash x 0. So x 0 is 0 minus f x 0. So f x 0 means at x at 0 e to the power 0 is 1 minus 0. So that will give 1. 1 is 1 and then f dash at 0 we substitute here f dash at 0. So e to minus of e to the power 1 minus 1. So that will give minus of 2. So minus of it gives when we simplify minus minus cancel it gives 0 0.5 clear next our x2 x2 is x1 minus f x1 upon f dash x1 we substitute 0.5 here and 0.5 here and calculate the value then we will get the x2 is equal to 0 0.566 1 and so on. So when we go for x3, x4 same formula using then x3 is 0 0.567143 x4 is 0 0.567143 means now it will be repeat. Hence the, our final solution up to 4 decimal place is 1 root is given by 0 0.5671 up to 4 decimal place. So very simple method we use only one method and then apply the formula and then proceed further. One more example I will give you is minus of is 1 minus 5 plus 3 is again 3 plus 4 minus 1 and f2 is given by 8 minus 10 plus 3 so 8 plus 3 11 so this is plus 1 so hence 1 root lie between 1 and 2 clear so we start with x0 is equal to 1 because root is lie between 1 and 2. So we start with if root x0 is 1. So now we consider x0 equal to 1. Then x1 is equal to x0 minus fx0 upon f dash x0. So it is 1 minus x this value is minus of 1 upon 
this f dash x is equal first we have to find out the derivative f dash x x equal to 3x square minus of 5 so it will become when we put x 0 equal to 1 then 3 minus 5 is minus of 2 clear so now it gives minus minus cancel so 1 minus 1 by 2 is given by point of 5 Next, x2, same, substitute x1 here and find out, then our root will be 0.64, then x3, when we calculate, x3 is 0 0.6565, x4 is 0 0.656620, x5 is 0 0.65. 6620431. So it will be repeat. So our final solution is root of given 1 root is given by 0 0.65662. Up to 4 decimal place means it is 0 0.6566. So this is the very simple method called Newton Pepson method. Now we can go further for one. Another method that is called irritation method. So, irritation means we have to again repeat the solution. Whatever the, this is called from one value to second, second is to third is irritation. So, which method is iteration method. In the iteration method, it is also very simple method. We have to repeat the process. Step 1. First, whatever the given equation, whatever the given function, we have to adjust in the form of x equal to 5x if it will be adjust in this form we have to find out the value of x in terms of another x so then we go for the process then we after in this form we consider one root only x0 one value then substitute here x1 is 5x0 whatever the x1 is coming here again x1 substitute in this function x2 is 5x1 x3 is 5x2 and so on when roots are repeat then we can say that will be the most suitable root of the given equation so i show one problem some problems on it first problem find the root of the equation mm. 2x equal to cos x plus 3 with the iteration method. So, here we can see x is equal to cos x plus 3 by 2. So, we adjust x equal to in the form of 5x. See, so our 5x is cos x plus 3 by 2. Clear? So, now we start the iteration with the help of taking any one value x0 so 0.5 clear then next x2 x2 when we substitute 1.5 here and find the value then it gives 1.535 next x3 gives 1.158 x4 is 1.526 x5 is 1.522 means now 1, 2, 3, 2 decimal are fixed. This will be repeat. Again, we go for x6, x7, more iteration. x6 is 1.524, x7 is 1.523, x8 is also 1.523. So, here the root is repeat. It means we stop our iteration here and the solution or we can say one root of the given equation is 1.523. Just very simple. We have to arrange our given function in terms of x equal to 5x and substitute start x equal to 0, x equal to 1, whatever suit with the equation and then substitute here what is the result again x2 is 5x1, x3 is 5x2. You substitute and find the solution you can make the with the form of table also i go with one another one more example here so means x cube minus x square 
x is cube plus x square minus 1 equal to 0. Hence, if we see our function f0, well, if this is fx, then f0, when 0 is minus 1 and f1 is, see, 1, 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, root, one root lies between 0 and 1. So, you start with either 0 or we can say 1 or any between value 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, whatever we can you suit. So, now first we have to find the iteration formula. Iteration formula means we have to arrange this given function in form of x equal to 5. So, I can say x q plus x square equal to 1. Again, x square taking common x plus 1 equal to 1. So, x square is 1 upon x plus 1. So, what is my x? x is 1 upon square root of x plus 1. So, this is the form of x equal to 5x. My 5x is 1 upon square root of 1x plus 1. Clear? So, now we can start our iteration method, substitute the values and then solve it for any one root. So, if we start, first is x1 equal to 5x0. Here, I consider x0 equal to 0 0.75. Because root is lie between 0 and 1. It's okay. You can start with x equal to 0 or you can start with x equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.6, anything. When you start your, uh, maybe you have to go for some more iteration or you can start with point lie between 0 and 1. So, I start with 0 0.75 when we start. It's the near x1. When we substitute here, x1 will be. 0 0.7559 clear then x2 is 5 of x1 our 5x is 1 upon square root of x plus 1 clear so our x2 is given by 0 0.7559 again x3 is 5 of x2 is given by 0 0.7546 5, 7, 8. x4 is 0 0.7548647, x5 is 0 0.7548880. So, if we can say up to 4 decimal place, it will be fixed. We found for more decimal place, we have to go for further iteration. Otherwise, we have to state here, stop here. So, x6 is 0 0.7548772. 0 0.7548767. So, now for higher value, we can go there. If for up to 4 decimal place, our root is this. So, this is the iteration method. How to solve the transcendental equation or find the roots with the help of iteration method. That's all for today. Thank you very much.